Hello people. Wait for people to join a few minutes. So we're going to do a before I start the normal live, you know the normal we're gonna I've got a few things to actually some more things to heal and clear or help you. But we're gonna do a meditation for Gaia. Um, we're gonna which is also part of this because what you send out, remember, increases your light. These things you do increase the light you have as well. Okay, we all connected, so look, you know. So Gaia needs a little bit of help now. I normally get shown something before it happens. Uh, so I normally get a heads up that something's going to happen, you know, that there's a problem. Um, you know, earthquake, da, da 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 So I saw in my meditation just now, this afternoon, that there's a volcano going off and it was really poisonous um, gases coming out into the water as well, heating the water and poisoning the water. And then when it escaped out the ocean into the air, it was toxic as well. So to transmute that, the, those toxins, to neutralize them, basically. That's what I was doing in Earth, is to neutralize the, the poison that was going into the air and, you know, whatever, from this volcano. But we saw this last year, so we knew, you know, we know we've got lots of things coming on the planet still to come. Anyway, so this was expected now, something in June, July. We're waiting for some Earth events to happen. All right. Anyway, so I saw that and I asked, you know, anything I can do to help Gaia and there we are. If you ask, you know, I, not because it's free will. So if you want to help, you can ask Gaia anything, that, you know, any help that ne they need help with, help humanity, anything to assist during this shift. And that's what I was given. So I was like, okay, no problem. We did lots of these in 2020, I think. We did lots of meditations to try and uh, minimize some of the stuff we saw. All right. Don't know how many people are there. I don't know if it's seven yet. Uh, let me see. Yeah, just gone. Get a minute. So everybody is, is, is around. Let's start with that one first for Gaia, please. I'd really appreciate the more the merrier. Um, I've got a little grid set up here for Gaia. A little thank you. So I've got my crystals and I've got everything, you know, sort of set up here for Gaia. I've asked other beings to join um, all kinds from all over. Many of the more the merrier. <laughs> guides this that you know galactic anyone that wants to help obviously to assist for the highest and greatest good for Gaia humanity you know all sentient beings on the planet basically so we're going to do that all right anybody all of you that want to take part in this meditation please get yourselves organized get your crystals whatever you want to do I don't know if you guys do if some people set up their little whatever However you want to set up anything, it's up to you. If you want to put something around you, da, 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 da. Okay, increase your frequency. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to talk you through it because I'm not going to talk while I'm doing it because who knows what I've got to see and do. So get yourselves organized, settled, raise your frequency vibration, call in your guides, whoever you work with, want to help, ask to help, plus, you know, all of us. And then we're going to obviously connect and you will be guided, visualized, you're going to get guided through, who knows, that's why I say, I don't know, you know, off you're going to go in your astral like I do, and what appears in front of you, you just, you just innately know, you know, you've got so many past lives, you innately know what to do, what you're supposed to do, you just do it, that's it, so it's healing, what I was doing was love and healing, and it was, yeah, our transmuting, it was under the water, and it was, uh, whatever whatever was emitting from the volcano was causing issues with, with the ocean and poisoning the heating up never mind heating it but poisoning the fish and then when it was escaping out it was it was toxic which is interesting because humans have you know put a lot of toxins into the air like air pollution <laughs> so isn't it interesting you know that this can you know never mind. as I say you know what we what we do comes you know there's always a comeback in these things right all right so we're going to do some good now. First, before we start, I've got one or two other things we can work through that will help people um, to clear. Some good things that came as well today, ideas, um, which will really assist you in your shift, in your ascension path or, you know. All right. Get ready, people. I'm going to take my glasses off because I don't like them on my face when I'm meditating. All right. Let's do a few breaths, raise your frequency and vibration, connect with Gaia. 
your intention, set the intent to assist Gaia with whatever she needs right now. To the highest and greatest good, please let them show you whatever Gaia, whatever Gaia needs, whatever assistance we need, how we can help and assist her for the highest and greatest good of all sentient beings. No. And I normally speak to Gaia and then I get shown, boom, and then off I go. <laughs> All right, so you can do that now, but you've got to set the intent to help. All right, all right, call in your guides and whoever you want to do it, and let's get busy, people. There's big tectonic plates open under the ocean where there's lava, there's movement and hot uh, lava going. I'm seeing a dormant volcano for some reason. Not for long, I don't think. All right. I don't think that volcano is going to be dormant or quiet for long. Nope. Gaia releasing energy like we do that's stuck as the stuff hits us and surges through us we have to purge and heal and release now Gaia has to do this as well so the plates are shifting and the volcano the, the lava is moving so she can they're aware of releasing the energy
Okay, I'm very, very far down, deep, deep in the very dark ocean. There's some thing happening there. There's like energy stuck there somewhere. There's like a junction and there's energy stuck very, very far deep down under the ocean. It's like we have a block meridian. So let's send some healing so she can release this, this block or this, you know, smooth. It can energy can flow smoothly. like doing Reiki on earth. That 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 release that that I felt a release there. Now we're somewhere else, somewhere like a like tropical um, Pacific Ocean or Caribbean or something like that. I don't know. wave okay it's going to cause a wave it's 
So let's soothe, let's calm it a bit. Let's soothe that away. That it's going to set off a wave, this earthquake, this problem. This uh, It's a very tropical, beachy area, indigenous people. So, all right, thank you. Let's soothe the ocean. Let's soothe the sea so we, we, we have a less calm that wave down. So if you don't know how to do it, become one with the water. Put your consciousness into the ocean. You become the ocean. Very angry. Wow. Send that calm, those ripples right throughout the water, through the ocean. You can feel that calmness ripple through the ocean. Okay, so that's solved that problem. So there, those waves are much smaller, much calmer now. So whatever kind of big wave problem there, that's minimized that one. Now we're sinking into the core of earth. Very unbalanced energy, very unsettled. The energy is doing this in the core. And the So it's like calming, like waves on a, you know, when they're rocking, rolling, when now you're going to soothe and slow down that rocking. Now we're going to calm that core, that, that wave, that lava wave or whatever it is. Visualize this lava, this pool, getting still. You become it.
Okay. Much, much more quiet and calm, peaceful. Okay, I say that's okay for now. So we love, we see you, we honor, and we love you, Gaia. We send Gaia your, your honor, thank her, honor her, we see you, we honor you, we thank you, we love you. You are loved, you are loved, you are loved. Thank you, people. Ooh, that was interesting. Well, <laughs> there we are. So we had a, a Earth's core was very few, and then there was a very far. Anyway, you heard me t say as I was seeing it and moving through it. You heard me say what was over there, and what was going on. There we are. You never know what you're going to see, you know, and where you're going to. You never know. <laughs> That's what I find fascinating about these things I've done. Wow, you never know where you're going to get taken, seen, and done. And I can tell you what, it's smack on. Because everything they've showed me, when they showed me something, that volcano, that earthquake, wherever it was, was smack on. It happened. Whenever I've been told something that happens, it happens. End of story. Whether it happens, it's normally a year ahead I get. Sometimes I get it two years, some of the things. But it's smack on. There we are. Thank you, people that, that assisted. She's so lovely, Gaia. Oh, always. When you eat your food, please do this. Put your, all your noise, your movie, your TV, just quiet. Trying because it's also better for your digestion. You can chew it slowly. And you have to chew your food for your digestion. But what I do is I sit there, look at my food, take my glasses off, and I'm focusing energy to the to it. And I'm saying, and I'm thanking for the abundance. And I think this is quite important now, seeing the current developments on the planet we start saying but you don't do it for ulterior motives people you've got to understand if you want food in your life you've just been we've just been taking it for granted taking it for granted whatever we get consuming damaging doing this more 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 you know there's a bigger better diamonds and uh, I mean, really okay so just eating away and throwing it away and never thank you so you anyway it's, uh, it's one of those things so now we are a bit more conscious of the things we do. So we're going we're gonna to say, not grace, but I say, I look at the food and I thank them for the beautiful, nutritious, wonderful, you know, whatever, organic products, whatever you like. I, and you say, thank you, get more of it. So I prefer organic. <laughs> it's encouraged. So I always say thank you for that. And I, you know, all the beings, all the plants, and I see them. When you thank them, you see them. So all the beings, all the plants, and the soil, you know, it's amazing. And when you're saying them and sending your energy and thanking them and Gaia for the abundance and, you know, ways or whatever, you see them. It's amazing. I love it. So please do that with your food. Bless your food. Bless your water when you have it. All right. And it, first of all, it's going to make a huge difference in your health and your, in your, it affects, you change the food. So you're sending energy and higher frequency into the food that you are going to eat. You are going to be higher frequency energy as well. You understand? It's very important. You can do that with your water. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm drinking pineapple weed tea today. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> you can't really see. There's a green tea bag in there. And one of these things, which I, I picked some pineapple weed today when I went on my walk. These things you pop in, you know, whoopsie. And it's got pineapple weeds in there. Lovely, huh? It's kind of a wild family of chamomile, so it's relaxing and ooh. And it's free, it's a bloody weed, it grows everywhere. On walks and paths, and I went walking today and I came right across some, so I picked some and had it. Lovely tea, huh? very tasty, because it tastes like pineapple. So there we are, please do that, especially for people that don't want any food issues or not to have, you know, because you think, oh, I'm fine, but some countries won't be. So, yeah. so we're going to... Did you? Oh, lovely, yeah. Yeah, I've got it in my fridge. And then when I use it, I take, um, I'm using uh, sparkling water for that one for change, just for a change. I don't use tap water, most, I'm sure most people don't these days. And I've got sparkling water in a jug. 
now and I put rosemary and a slice of lime in it oh I love that and then I, sometimes I get bored especially in the hot to cool off the the body and it's to calm and cool the body now it's fire season and I'm over to mind if your mind's over uh, mint and cucumber so you can slice cucumber and mint and put it in the water wow it flavors your water beautifully and remember cucumber has silica now silica draws aluminium out the body at the brain too that's why you can buy silica water it removes about 80% of the aluminium from the brain, which is most people have if they've been wearing, if they've used old fashioned, you know, deodorant to the days, it had a million makeup, all got aluminium in it. And that was, that played a huge count to people with, with dementia and stuff, had a much higher count, about 80% higher aluminium in their brain. People with these dementia, Alzheimer's problems. And when they started drinking that stuff, it reduced their Alzheimer's and dementia. So you can buy it. One is Fiji water and the other one is L something L. Just go and have a look. I used to get a case of that every now and then and drink that. But silica draws, attaches to the aluminium and pulls it out your system. Anyway, it is nice anyway. Cucumber and mint in your water, put it in the fridge and then you take a glass, pour it in a cup and then let it sort of, you know, not so cold and then you can drink that. Yeah, hi. And then rosemary and lime is a very nice one. I put it when I go walking now. I take a little bottle and I shove the rosemary in and a piece of lime or lemon and pour the water in and then it's it's so nice. Just flavors it up and it's just nicer. Okay. All right, lovely people. So we've done that one. Okay. When I'm trying to think which other one I did. We've done the healing for Guy, what I was going to give you a tip on. Besides, I say, yeah, your food. Please do that with your food and water. So you don't have issues there down the line. Um, there was another one. Okay. With the current things that are going on the planet, I'm talking about because we're doing the 30 day, 40 day challenge thing and it's about us affirmations about being positive. So I've got some things that are going to help you. Some more things. Every day there's always something that comes up. So these ones you can include in your affirmations or mantras you can make. You say it all the time, but I would suggest you do that because that's what I'm saying. We've taken the planet for granted, right? So we've not said thank you for the food, thank you for this, thank you to Gaia, no, no respect to the planet. Now, what keeps you alive? You forgot, our memory is done that. You don't remember the beginning of the planet. The planet was very, well, you can see history now, asteroids and volcanoes. I mean, it, uh, look at the li li layers of, so this was not a safe planet to live once upon a time. So we've just taken it for granted. Oh, it's so nice and no, it's, nothing ever happens, you know. Now we're seeing, we're going through some turbulent times volcanoes, earthquakes, other things, all right? And some won't be that lucky because we don't say thank you. This is why we're giving back now. Oh, I did the meditation. So we're going to thank Gaia more often and because you take your safety and security for, for granted. So in your mantras, people now with all the things going on, I don't know where you are, you can include that I am safe, I am secure in your thanks and your gratitudes and your affirmations those that are doing this with me every day should know that. Okay, so you can include safety and security in there. Definitely thank, in your gratitude, definitely thanks for the abundance of food, unless you don't want, you know. But if you bought into any other funny news narrative and other alternative media rubbish, then you're going to have manifested yourself probably a little bit of an issue there. So I wouldn't pay attention to that, because if you buy it and think in it and focus it, you're going to have an issue with food. And that's your own problem. You, that's a lesson you're going to learn. Okay? So don't focus on, if you don't want something, we don't give it attention. We don't believe it. We don't hold that thing, you know. This is a lesson you're all learning, right? So we are going to say thank you every day in your gratitudes. You guys are doing your own thing. You've got to think of all the things you're grateful for, right? So thank you for the food, abundance of food. What are the most things? Warmth shelter or home so i've got thank you for the abundance of food i always have you know abundance of food clean water warmth clothes of abundance of clothes beautiful home warmth there we are so what will you always have you'll be warm you'll have clothes you'll have a place to stay a nice place to stay and you'll have abundance of food and water that is important and those things, you got all those things, you are very lucky and you should be. You, you, just, you just don't realize. And this is why it's, this is why humanity is also going through a bit of a thing to make it, shake it up. Because it was far too easy in some countries. It was, oh, whatever, you know. 
Bye, 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 throw it away. I mean, we had tech rubbish dumps, tech, toxic tech dumps all over the world. Well, third world, they've been dumped. TVs galore. I mean, every appliance you could possibly think of, gadget, gadget, I mean, every uh, electronic. And there's not, none of these electronic gadget smart things are degradable. Phones. Oh, we're going to have the latest iPhone. We've got toxic dumps of tech. They don't show you that. I love the way everybody avoids showing you these massive dumps and they're smoking, which they've paid these poor countries to take, which are TVs, cell phones, laptops. I mean, they are not biodegradable. No car, no smart car, no battery. They're actually highly toxic, any of these things. So yeah, you know, metal doesn't just dissolve and it's not biodegradable. So we don't need to keep getting the latest iPhone, which I see they're doing, you know, keep making upgrades so you're going to get another one because your phone won't work. So you've got to address your countries. Anyway, never mind. We've got to think. Anyway, this is one of those things. So let's start being more conscious because you're on this planet. Thanks to Gaia or she'll shake you off like a flea. We don't want that. You know what I mean? You just take it for granted. Yeah, well, there we are, you know. So we thank Gaia, we honor her, we respect her, we love her, we, you know, give, when you go out walking, you can do clearing and, you know, thanks to the, your local, when you're in your local area, your water, your rivers, you can do healing on yourselves. When you go there and you can see it doesn't look so good, sit there for five minutes on the water, focus, water, send love and healing into it. You know it affects it, that energy, you know it, your focus, your concentration on the water. A motor approved it. Okay, so you can do this yourselves, people, wherever you live, on your ocean, when you go down to the ocean. You can say thanks, gratitude, and send love and healing and everything into the ocean, into the water. Because remember, it has memory as water, it has a memory. Even those rivers flow into the oceans eventually. So we've got to try and clean up all our water on the planet. So please do healing. Take those five, ten minutes when you go to the river or the ocean and send, focus on it and put your concentration, your energy, focus, healing, love and thank you and gratitude. Healing. Okay, into the water. Wherever you are, your garden, your plants, you know, I mean, we're just going to be a little bit more. Okay. There we are. We can do a little bit more, you know, yeah, helpful. All right. Helpful, kind, considerate and things like that. Okay, there was, that was that one. So I think people should do that. Include in your affirmations because of the current things are going in your life. Let's, you don't want to be involved in any of the things that are going to happen on the planet and be, you know, uh, come, let's say, not have a good time, do you? No. So hopefully you're focusing on this. You're focusing on, you know, you're raising your frequency and vibration and consciousness. You're working on the self-work, massively important. Working on yourself, doing the healing, raising your vibration, doing clearing, asking, you know, always, every day. All right. I've shared tips on that one. I was given another one. Now, a lot of people didn't know this. I don't know. I'm just saying. But there are quite a few people who haven't known. If it hasn't, and no, you haven't listened to crying, you won't know this. All right. So, he came to the planet. Many planets has done it. To guide us through the shift. And there's many beings that have come here to guide, help humanity through the shift into the new paradigm. All right. So what he's telling you now, which is quite true, is that the karmic, the karma was started in Lemuria. And there was a cycle because of that density and the whole thing, it was appropriate. So we had karma, you know, what you do comes back to you, the others, you know, kind of things. It was a lesson, it was a way, just how, it's how the old paradigm worked, right? It is no longer necessary. You can cancel it. You can do that. But what people don't realize, your DNA, there's karmic overlays in your DNA. So when you come back into this planet, the energy, those karmic, uh, like you say, you pick up, as soon as you come back, reincarnate, you're picking up those past life energies and whatever they claim to carry on, right? You can do away with that, but you've got to intend and ask them to, because it, it, you no longer need it. But it's a choice. So you can now ask them to remove all karmic overlays from your DNA to completely say, look, it no longer serves me, I no longer need it. I ask you, please, you know you how to do it, like any clearing, healing, removing. Ask them to remove all karmic overlays, release you from more karmic death, all karmic, you know, imprints, overlays. Okay. So run through your DNA, study the structure, cash, da, 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 run, drop it. Drop your karma. Think about it consciously, work through everything, make sure it's all... That's up to you. Okay. 
you can do that. I would suggest you do that because a lot of people, I'm watching them and I learned this myself. We've got past life imprints that we're carrying. You have traits and I see that. You'll find there's an addiction. It's a, what the Buddha say, attachment. Non-attachment. Well, everyone's got you know, coming out of 3D. Attachment. Some people don't realize they've got attachment to relationships or sex is a big thing. You know, they, that's their weak spot. Some addictions, okay, so it's drugs, alcohol, or food, or whatever else. There's, a ta there's something. If you check your past lives, you will see patterns. All right. So whether it's aggression, whether it's always fighting wars, you, you know, if it's always some kind of fighting war, whatever else, you don't need to be that. You can change, right? And But these things have a massive pull and influence on you. People don't realize. So they keep getting, they keep in the same cycles of patterns. You, It's a good thing to be free and clean. So now you can decide and create who you want to be from now on. You're not stuck with that karmic overlay that's going to keep pulling you in the one direction. You're going to be very drawn to the same behavior, the same characteristics. And people don't even realize this. I noticed this. Anyway, they have traits. They don't realize it, you know. So what you can do is the same thing. Instruct them to remove past life imprints that are laid on you. So you can you want to remove all past life imprints and overlays. All right. So you are now free. You're not influenced by your past lives, by your karma, by all these imprints and overlays and residue. There's residue. So you've got to get them to remove all of it down to even the residue of it. All right. So all of it. And you, I would do them, I would call in the angels and I'd call in your guides to do this and have a complete cleanse and clear. Make sure you run through it, eh? Mind, body, spirit, cellular structure, DNA, da, 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 da. And by the way, what came to me, to me today as well is that we are definitely going back to crystalline. Uh, the original DNA um, pr divine print for human, which we used to be, I think we dropped in here, it was a crystalline structure. We were more crystalline. We weren't carbon, the solid body. We're going back to the crystalline structure. And this is that thing I showed and I did yesterday with that meditation for to activate the crystalline structure. Now, the crystalline DNA, uh, it's changing. And that wasn't available two years ago. We activated DNA, but that wasn't available. And you see it now. Your, crystal, your, your structure, your physical structure is, 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 is going to crystalline. And you're going through, especially if you're doing this, it's a choice. If you're consciously doing this, people, activate it, like, follow that meditation I did yesterday, or explained on my TikTok. You're going to see your physical structure is, is, is busy now, changing into a crystalline structure. Isn't that amazing? So we are more translucent, we are more light, we are more... And I tell you what, ask for all the tools. What we think, we keep forgetting because we, we're stuck in that fourth, fourth, we're in the fourth dimension now, by the way. If anyone doesn't know, we left 3D, please get over the 3D. We're not 3D, we're in fourth, fourth dimension, right? But when you do this, so you have now activated your crystalline structure, your crystalline body, your divine, it's your, it's your, it's your template. The divine template, the original template for humanity was a crystalline thing. So now you've actually activated your crystalline DNA, the crystalline structure, crystalline. It's amazing. Then ask for all tools. All chakras are the tools because remember at this level we only had those many. Oh, you want to see how many chakras are available. If you ask for them, people, they just keep going up. I mean, you just think, shit. So there are much higher levels, dimensions of... So in other dimensions, you get far more chakras, but they are much higher. They're higher chakras. So it's not all this, this these chakras that we thought we've had here. They're not. That's for this, this subdimensional space or you know, level we're at. So move on to the crystal instruction. Ask for um, all the tools, any tools and things. What did I ask for? I can't remember. So I thought, okay, you know, you, can, you must check out what you can get. So I asked for all tools that are available, to, for, you know, that you can use for the highest, more, the highest chakras I can get, whatever else, um, to reach, whatever I can use to reach the highest dimensions and chakras. She, see, people, they are chakras that just keep going up. I mean, there's a huge amount of chakras. You're chakra, right up there. I was like, wow, this is cool. <laughs> so ask. You remember if you it's intention. If you don't ask or intend, you don't get. So please activate your crystalline DNA, which is your divine blueprint. It's your divine 
template, sorry, it's original template, original human, human uh, template for your DNA, which the memory was lost, it was forgotten. Now you can restore that when you activate that, you're activating that, which is like a 900 li year lifespan, by the way. That original blueprint, like Moses lived for 900 years, that's how long you're supposed to be living. The, the original uh, template has a nine, more than 900, about a thousand year lifespan. It's a crystalline structure. Wow, and there's some serious chakras up there. <laughs> Much higher level. These lower chakras, the chakras aren't down here now, they're up there. They're all up. There's nothing like lower chakras. They're all from the head up. It's Wow, it's like a tower of them. It's like, oh my gosh, look at all that. Don't know what they are. I didn't even ask. But well, there's a lot of them. So there we are. Those that are intending, asking to, we, well, we are trans, we are busy turning, uh, going crystalline. So it's a lovely, amazing, eh? Wow. And you can feel that body morphing. You can feel your physical vessel changing. So think about it when you come back next time. Wow, you've got it. You've got a, a, a heads up. I mean, you've got a foot in front of everybody. Secondly, here's another tip I came that came to me today. Right? You know, you know the mind because that's why the Buddhists. It's all about the mind, and they tell you don't try and fight with it, or you know, you try and try and make it quiet because it has to have something, or it's like a child. You got to distract the thing, so you got to keep distracting it. <laughs> okay. So bless you, Andrew. I know your, your intentions are good. Your intentions are good. Don't worry. Your intentions are very good. You're caring. You worry. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Bless you, my friend. So, uh, what was I going to say now? Well, okay. The mind. Now, I noticed today in my mind, because when we've got so much coming and incoming into the planet, your, your third eye is an antenna and your cell, it's trying, it's reading. Wow, it's like overdrive. So you find you get swiped over tired. You find, oh, it's like overdrive. The mind goes in because it's trying to decipher, read all that energy. It's coming through the third eye into your mind. You know, well, so I'm now trying to, I decided to play a game with it like you would with a child, right? Because now it keeps wanting, you, we got to retrain our mind. We got to get the mastery. Once you master your control of your mind, you, do, you are going to be up. Because that's what you came here to do is mastery. And that's where we're heading. Our galactic friends have mastery over their thoughts. There's not just random thoughts in mind. They have mastery over it. Because you can't fly a ship otherwise because you would have serious accidents if you didn't have mastery over the mind when it's your mind controls your space, your, your craft. All right? And tension. Because everything's with this. They intend, focus on it, and they instantly travel through to other planets. They can manifest their body because they're in light body. They can, if they want to, in front of us, manifest in a form. Otherwise, we just don't see them, but they're, they're right next to you. Anyway, most of you know this, any of you, if you're on the waking path. Okay, so I decided if your mind starts, you know, you're getting very, very busy and it's keep it going off there and it's, and it, and, and you just, it's thought, 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 and it's just, well, you know, it's becoming a bit, mm, all right. If you're walking or anything else, cause now you haven't got this music to relax to. I started humming when I was walking. So I was, oh, I'm going, it's just annoying me because actually you just get tired. It does. It sucks. It uses your energy. It's what people don't understand. Thoughts, everything is, everything has a frequency. Now, you know, every, every word, thought and things as a frequency and this is why it's if you've got to be careful what you think and say if you master the mind there's no random thought or oh, that you know negative random thought so it was being a nuisance today so i was humming i started humming and that really distracts it because it can't focus on something now it's got to focus on anything so it's, um, mm, so i'm humming while i'm walking right because it just kept wanting to go off and off i didn't want to stay in the moment to stay in the present it wasn't doing it. It was like, it was really on overdrive sometimes today. So I was humming. And that shut it up. And then I thought like a kid, you know, when you play I Spy, we, any of you have had children, all right? And you're driving long distances like me. I mean, serious long distances. And they, you've got to keep them busy as they fight with each other and fight with everything. I Spy with my little eye, right? I had a great idea today to, to say with the mind, this will help us a lot, right? You are going to trick your mind or give it something. Oh, let's see how many. Okay. Or also in your affirmations, right? 
I my I always think positive thoughts. I am always optimistic. I always have positive thoughts. And then you can tell him, oh, let's see how many positive thoughts, I, you know, we can come up with. Or let's see how many positive. And I tell you what your mind does. <laughs> and I thought, bingo, that's a bloody, <laughs> guess what? I'm walking along and what, what is, what, what do my affirmations start coming up? Oh, I'm happy. I'm this, I'm that. You see, so trick your mind. If your mind doesn't want to be quiet and you don't want it to randomly start thinking about, oh, the sad, my ex, my, whoa, 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 and it, it, we've got to stop it from going back all the time. Stay in the present. So if it doesn't want to stay in the present and you're getting it just you keep finding your thinking and your mind is thoughts. If you're focusing and you'll realize your mind is so freaking busy. So play with it like a child. Oh, let's see how many positive thoughts I can think of. Your mind will now because you've now given it a task. Your mind is now going to try and find positive thoughts. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> so you think of your mind as a child. Give it a task to do. Oh, let's see how many positive thoughts. Oh, let's count ducks. Who cares, people? You'll be surprised. The mind, if it starts going in a negative to direct you something, give it a task. Don't try and fight it. And, oh, no, I'm not going to. As soon as you say, I'm not going to, and everyone will tell you that. Eckhart Tolle, everyone. As soon as you say, no, I don't want, we're not doing that. I don't want to think about that. You will think about it. And tomorrow, and tomorrow, it just keeps going on, right? You've got to break that pattern. Because once you've been this constant negative thought pattern, the bloody thing keeps going. Ee, ee, ee. So I derived a game today. Let's guess how many positive things we can think of. Oh, I'm always optimistic. Let's think of all the optimistic things. Oh, and there we are. Bloody does it. So tell your mind it's got to come up with all optimistic tasks. See, there we are. <laughs> okay, people. So that's going to give you a trick because I was humming today and the cows were looking at me. Um, that's wonderful to calm the body before bedtime. Oh, uh, wow. Now we know why half our indigenous do and the monks do it, where it comes from. That resonance. It, it, oh, it's amazing. That res because it's, everything's resonance and frequency. Okay. So start playing games with your mind. Okay. I and Including your mantras. I always... My, there we are. We're setting intentions and things, right? Including your intent for the next day. So your brain is not going to start thinking. So I always think positive thoughts. I'm, oh, I've always, I'm, very, I'm always optimistic. I always have positive thoughts. Oh, let's see how many positive thoughts we can think of. Let's see all the positive things I can think of. Let me see. If I, there we are. Let's see how many. So when it doesn't, say to it, you're giving it a task now. And now as soon as you focus, and get, it's going to go. So now you're telling it to go and see, let's say, all the high frequency uh, uh, sounds or, or thoughts. Joy. Happiness. You see? Program it. You are the computer. That's a hard one. You are going to put the program in. But your mind will run by itself if you don't put a program in for it. I've learned this. It'll just go on, on autopilot. And shite just comes out. Oh, about this and everything you don't want to think about. Remember, you don't want any negative thoughts or anything you don't want to anything you don't want in your life because that's what people do. You think of it and then you start thinking, oh my gosh, what happened? that happens. Oh, no, 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 no. And the more you focus on something and think about it, the more you think about it, the more, and it just carries on. And that's why people get into this very dark space. And I warned them a while ago, focus on the darkness, it will consume you. I warned them like a while ago. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right. So there we are, focus on light. And you can also do that then. So if, it, if it's like just becoming a task because it's just very busy, because it's filtering too much or whatever. So then like you play a game, I'm walking. And then I start saying, I am pure, true light. I am radiating light. I am radiating, whatever to yourself. These are all things that are benefiting you, are going to increase your light. So if you're walking down the road and instead of your mind just randomly going off and it's tangent or you're on the train or bus or whatever you're doing right you are now going to consciously be saying things in your mind thoughts i am radiating light i am radiating love i'm radiating light i'm radiating love i'm peace you can say your affirmations in you know what i mean they already pick up your mind but don't try and tell your mind no we're not thinking about that and it's going to go off and you're going to start this tit for tat thing and it gets tiring secondly your mind then uses up all your this is why most people don't realize why they're so tired and stressed i'm so tired i'm so stressed i'm because your mind sucks your energy 
all fear, negative thoughts, most things people don't realize are based on fear. That is a low frequency in vibration. That is darkness. You're thinking that's dark. So why? Your energy slows down. You feel tired. You feel depressed. You feel anxious, stressed. If you have any fear, anxiety, things, that's all dark, dense energy. You are not, you've now dropped back into a darker level. I mean, people are having uh, problems, but I warn people because they're following all the nonsense on the media and all the, ooh, there's this and that nasty things. What happens? They're thinking of all these nasty things and they're, oh, I got attacked. This happened to me. That happened to me. Why? Oh, that you are now learning a lesson. Nothing has power over you. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the, to the awakening. You are learning. If you're going to focus on the darkness, that's what you're going to get. Stop thinking about it. Stop looking at it, listening to it, talking about it. It will come to you then because you've asked for it. And then you'll have to learn the, the hard way. Ooh. Nothing has. I just tell them, you're learning a lesson. Nothing has power over you. <laughs> Simple as that. Nothing. If you fear it, think about it, focus about it, read, look at it, follow media, whatever you're thinking of, dreaming of it, you are, you are focusing on it, which means you're activating that frequency and vibration in you. Hello. And everything that has got anything in it, in it that is not pleasant is coming towards you. That's simple as that. And then you're going to have unpleasant experience. We've all been through that. And then you learn, hey, bugger off. You don't need to go to a healer or anything to remove anything for you. You just need to really get a wake up. Tell it to bugger off. Thank you. Not in fear because nothing will leave you. If you're like, oh, you get away from me. Leave me. We all know that. That's an old game. You no, know, nothing has power over me. When you cognize it, poof. There we are. Problem gone. If you believe something can harm you and do something to you, you are saying, oh my gosh, well, so then the universe is going to give you that. Oh, and to verify, shit, yes, it can. Maybe it's not a good, nothing, people, nothing. If it's in a body or not a body has power over you. Only if you think it does, it will. If you believe it, it will. If you fear it, it will. There we are. Simple as that. Okay. Because I had someone today contact me. Oh, please, this and that happened to me. I'm not surprised because they're following all this bollocks and this awakening movement, red pull nonsense and all that sort of negative uh, stories and negative beings. Oh, this, you've got to be careful of that. They're doing these. Oh, I mean, that's just delusional. They don't understand the astral. They're stuck on the lower astrals and lower realms and they haven't risen above them. And they haven't cleared, they haven't done enough with shadow work, so they don't realize they've got a lot of things active in them. They're caught, it's all been drawn to them. That's why they're, all they're seeing is, but that's all they're focusing on. So that's all they're going to see. And they're not going to rise up to any higher levels or astrals or dimensions because they are blocking themselves in the first place. There we are. That's just one of those things. All right, people, so there we are. Play a game with your higher self. Okay. Oh, let's think of how many positive things I can think of. Boink. And your mind has now got a good task, not a... Okay. And then if you want to know how to activate your crystalline DNA story, go to my last YouTube, last, uh, my last video on YouTube, last night's live. It's uploaded to YouTube. And I've just explained to you, if you want to do your, go and watch it thing, you can release karma. If you consciously ask and intend, because it, you don't need it anymore. But also, please release and make sure you do a proper job. Release and remove any imprints, um, past life imprints that you're carrying with you. Because it's not nice. And they're influencing this life. And you don't need to. Right. A lot of people don't realize when they're so drawn to something or a person. It's because it's a contract agreement. And nothing is, you don't have to. Otherwise, as you says, free will doesn't work. No contract set in stone. Anything you agreed before you came here, you can go above it or change it or anything. Because remember, you are part of source. The thing about you, you can decide, I'm not, I'm not taking that path anymore. I'm not, let's, I'm cancelling those agreements. They're not like a physical contract signed in ink and dotted, no. But you're going to be drawn to these things and same behaviors and same patterns if you don't cancel those imprints, overlays of past lives and karma. Okay. All right.
the same behaviors and you this and the same thing you're like a rabbit you're going to keep repeating the same characteristics the same kind of behavior the same kind of some of its pride ego people addicted to sex relationships same kind of thing um they're just going to have you know uh it's a, it's all different types of attachments that you built up you know and it's so it's now influencing without you even realizing you see it's influencing you because it's been carried to many many lives there we are all right i think we did enough for today peoples i'm gonna go chill out i'm glad it isn't raining i opened my sunroof and i'm gonna try and sleep i'm gonna sleep very well tonight i'm setting that intention i'm gonna sleep like a baby the earlier the better i find if you go to sleep too late and i'm awake i don't know why so yeah, I, I seem to be like a point. If I go to sleep before nine, I'll sleep. If I go to sleep after nine, it doesn't matter. Then I'll just wake up, you know, wake up late. So if I stay awake all night, I just go to sleep. And when I wake up, I wake up. I'm not, you know, I'm just going with it now. Because my, my, I'm very sensitive and my, uh, I read all these energies coming in. Oops. You're very welcome. No, thank the universe. Thank your higher self. Remember, we all connected. We all one consciousness on the other side of the veil. We all one big family. So your higher self, my higher self, all in cahoots and sent you this way. <laughs> I'm a vessel, which source is talking, you know, using me. Source, I'm so source. I'm I've opened myself up to source for the highest and greatest good. Whoever needs help, source. Okay, I've asked Source to come to speak through me. I've, I offered, I said, here I am to help and uplift humanity during this, you know, period. Help people through the shift. That was my, I volunteered because we have free will. I asked Source and that's what I've been doing. So when I do these as well, I ask Source to talk through me. I ask my higher self to take over. And I ask them any messages they want to share with humanity, any things, and it comes to me, you see. Yeah, thank you, higher self. Our higher selves. Source, thank you. You hear? <laughs> they're here. And thank you, all the beings that attended. Oh, I'd like to please also thank your people that you called in, the beings. Because I see there were some galactics that helped us. Yeah, angels, uh, guides. Light, a lot of light beings. So thank you to all the beings that help. Please thank you for your the help for the healing for Gaia to help soothe Gaia and everything. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Love you lots. I'll see you tomorrow night. If I'm not going to be on, it'll be very unusual. And unless I'm just like I really need to sleep because the current energy is away or whatever. If I'm like okay, I just really need a nap. I'm not going to try like last time. I tried to stay awake. So I could, you know, do the thing, but I, no, it's not a wise idea. So if I really do need to sleep, because if I stay, if I don't sleep, like when I'm tired, I'll, I'm awake all night. I mean, literally. And then when the sun comes up, I go to sleep. <laughs> but I sleep a few hours anyway. It's just one of those things. I love you too, guys. Thank you very much. Thank all your uh, guys who ever took part in the meditation to help Gaia. So hopefully we mitigated, we've done it before, we've calmed some of the things, so when they happened, they weren't as bad, you know. So I presume we've got some, you'll see some events happening on the news, I don't know, I don't have a TV, I don't watch any news, I don't even get it in any feeds, even on YouTube, so I have no idea, not a clue what's going on out there anymore, I stopped, I'm so fed up with it, I stopped last year, I think it was, completely watching so I don't know what's going on with the finance, with the economy, with the government, with anything. News, anything. Like I've told you, this is what we're doing on this 30-40 day challenge. I highly suggest you do it. You'll see a massive improvement in your light, in your frequency, in your vibration. If you completely become an eagle, rise all above it, do not pay attention, let it play out because it's a divine plan. Do not get involved. You don't need to watch it. Why? Because it's negative. And you are going to believe it's going to happen and it's going to affect your life negatively. Not clever. And this is why we're doing this 30, 40 day thing. See? To keep you above that so you will, you will be good and you will fly above it and be untouched. All right. Love you. Go watch the replays if you want. They're, on, they're going to be uploaded to YouTube. Okay. Every night. Bye, guys. Bye.